if you want to relax and just chill out and get away from all this chaos, you can go to the Cyber Lounge. Peter's in there right now. Uh, what's going on? Well, let me tell you, Carmen, I am here with Jillian Anderson, of course, from X-Files fame. We're hanging out in the Cyber Lounge. Now, if you're sick of killing people in your fighting games or maybe getting a little nauseous in the 360-degree uh, computer games, as we were discussing earlier, the Cyber Lounge is a good place to get away. Maybe check out the X-Files on uh, web TV. Oh, you can? Yeah, I was doing that, seeing if there's any photos of you. Oh, like what kind of photos? I don't know. Just see what they had. Uh, okay. Maybe see what next, next week's uh, storyline was or something. They know that stuff already? Yeah, you know, kids on the web, they know everything. So in the Cyber Lounge, you can, you know, chop on the Internet and see what's going on. Plus, the best part of this area to me is we're surrounded by rebuilt classic video games like Miss Pac-Man, Centipede, yeah, yeah, Millipede, yeah, yeah. Donkey all these Kong. things. What was your game? Is there Donkey Kong? There's Donkey Kong. <laughs> Mario I've Brothers. Never, I've never see, Centipede. Games, but it's fabulous that they're here. Hey, yeah. how you doing? Yeah. See, they love Yay. the video games, too. We're going to show you guys a package right now about all these classic rebuilt video games that they got here in the Cyber Lounge. This is my favorite world over here, so check this out. Okay. I'll be there. And these will be all the classics, you know, Pong, Centipede, all, all those games that we you know, wasted our, our uh, high school or junior high or elementary school years on. Don't say wasted, it's what made us what we are today. <laughs> generation now of adults, of, of grown-ups that are out kind of beginning to run the world that have never known a world that wasn't filled with video games. You know, all day long we've been showing you great video games and great celebrities. Well, now it's time to put the two together like cheese and crackers. And here's Peter King to explain it. What's up, Peter? Hey, well, let me tell you, Simone, we've got a celebrity race like you have never seen before. We're on the Indy 500. We've got eight celebrities stocked up, big stars and little cars. It's going to be good. I can tell you who everyone is, but basically it's Will Smith and a bunch of his white friends. This is going to be a slaughterhouse. Gentlemen, start your engines! Okay, we got Will Smith in car one. He's our favorite tonight. He's a video game freak. <laughs> and there go the cars, Jiggle Jiggle. We've got that uh, amazing song for tonight. Ripping it up. Well, Gates and Cars 4 are going to want to watch out for him, guys. He's pretty crafty, they say. The whole concept here is speed and abuse your competitor. So if you look at the numbers in the top left of the screen, you'll see what place everybody is in. We've got a swinger in first place over there in uh, car number six. He's going pretty good. I believe we got a Weird Al down there in second place, taking up the top two spots. Oh! That's not true, just dropped out. Vince Vaughn looking good from Swingers in car six. We got Richard Crane in car seven. Weird Al, of course, in eight, can't miss him. Back in two, looking pretty good. Mr. Bill Gates, ladies and gentlemen, in fourth, probably trying to be nice to the kids tonight. Katzenberg in car number three. I don't know if it's the car shaking or if it's him. 
Look at this solid performance from the swinger. First place in car six down there. Vince Vaughn looking very good and looking good at the video game too. Uh, no mercy among the celebrities. Maybe they're jealous of each other. I don't know. Just want to pound each other into the ground. First place, still a swinger. Vince Vaughn. Weird Al dropped down to sixth place. Come on, Al. Get back in the game. Will's a solid man now. Will Smith, who I told you about earlier, folks. He's in second place. Just got taken into the wall. Katzenberg is not afraid in lane number three. Just up in fifth. I think he's going the wrong way. We'll have a shuttle to take you home later after your experience tonight. Oh, he's down to number second place. Okay, we're now in first place, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to love that kid. Ah, uh, drop the second. It's coming down. Time extended. A good driver will pass the time extended and keep it going for everybody. We're now holding down a solid first place. Sean Kenny from Allison Chains in lane five. He's in third place. Make that fourth place. I'm sorry. I cannot beat the results quick enough. The cars are going so fast. The scale speeds are about 400 miles an hour here tonight. Weird Al's in first. I want to just call him out, people. But he's pretty weird. Looking for Will Smith to come back from seventh place, folks. That's my bet. We can't do it. We have a surprise winner at the end. It's Vince Vaughn from Swingers. Vince. Yes. How do you feel? I can't. I, I don't know. I, I just. I, I just wanted to get through the race, and somehow I. I, I won the race. And uh, it was you and Weird Al neck to neck. How do you feel? I don't know. I mean, Weird Al was my inspiration to start this, and now I'm beating him. I feel so mixed about all of it. No, Al, you are the man. I think Al. Still well, hey, look, look. While these guys work it out, you want to keep it here, because on the way we got a live performance from Coolio. We also got the biggest video game in the entire world. But all day long, we've been setting up video cameras to get people's reactions. So right now, check out the current player of the moment. It's always so funny to see people's reactions when they're playing video games, the way they move and twitch their face, like they're really there. It's a great idea. Anyway, listen up. On the way, we have got a performance from Coolio Live that you got to check out. But right now, Peter King's down in the arena, and I'm wondering what he's, what he's up to. Peter, what's going on? Well, let me tell you, Simone, I am hanging out with Weird Al. How do you pronounce that last name? Yankovic. Yankovic, just like you think. Close. And we are standing next to the uh, signature piece here at GameWorks. This is Vertical Reality. It's an amazing game. We've been having a lot of fun all night. But I want to talk to Al a little bit because he has just recently produced and directed a video for a band called John Blue Spencer Blues Explosion. Awesome stuff. Well, I think you actually just directed it. It was produced by somebody else. But... Oh, well, I wanted to give you all this credit. Oh, thank you. Yeah. No, that was a lot of fun. It was a really a joy to work with uh, the, the Blues Explosion and uh, trying to get more offers to direct videos now. And it's, it, it's a cool thing. Yeah, it is. You've always been an awesome creator, and I mean, you're an awesome talent. You're such a talent to have around. Stop. You've went no, no. so much to our evening oh, already, no, I, and the I video games are on the Indy 500. No, please. You know, it doesn't even Just matter. Just happy here is awesome. It doesn't even matter that I lost the Indy 500. I've already achieved my dream in life of kicking Bill Gates' butt in a car race. So. Not bad, not bad. Go. I got to show you guys this game behind me, Vertical Reality. I can't tell you about it. Watch this. You've got to 
sit down in your vertical reality chair, you've got to grab onto the joystick, and you've got to defend your world against these evil machines that are taking things over. In this game, levels are truly physical levels. The computer moves you up, and you keep going until the final level at the very top, the best player, if he's really good, will be playing directly against Mr. Big. And if you uh, are not a, a really excellent player, you're gonna get blown up. And when you get blown up here, you actually fall, and you can fall 25 feet. And it's pretty funny, not knowing when it's gonna come, it's kinda scary. John and Steven give their inputs and ask all the right questions. You know, a guy like Steven, if he looks at it, he likes it, you know, we can, we can do whatever we want with it. John Snotty came to me one day and said, what do you think it would be like to drop 24 feet in a chair? And we went to this company and they had a chair on a stick. We shot him 24 feet into the air and then pulled the rug out from under him and dropped him. And he got out and said, yeah, that's pretty fun. And that was kind of the birth of uh, the vertical reality ride system. Yeah, so this will be a real rock and roll, you know, a, 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 a kind of event. In the same way that, I, that we want to work with the best uh, people in every field, we want to work with the best people in, in music. The music that we put together is sort of like psycho metal hip hop, just really fast, aggressive beats, and then sort of dark, dark guitars and, and crazy sound effects. It's a crazy image. It just seems like game work to, to look at the place, to walk in the place and go, oh my god, there are people falling out of the sky. Coming up next, we've, we've got a rapper. You know the one with the hair that's sprouting out everywhere? That's right. Coming up live, it's Coolio. What's up? I'm 
Simon and Miss Pac-Man, a new couple, right about it this week. On behalf of myself, Carmen Electro, Simon Rex, everyone at MTV, everyone here at GameWorks, thank you guys so much. God bless. Thanks for watching. Coolio's going to play out. See you guys later. Don't you wish you had one of these? MTV's coverage of the GameWorks premiere party has been brought to you by Sega Saturn. Hey, that's a bad man. Check this out. We're going to break y'all off something new to the two pimpin' in the house. Lee Grant, what's up? Electrician. 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 Electrician.